fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Heavyweight title fight is upon us. We'll be long now, folks. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them. Ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Well, a nice block there, and an even better counter straight by Lee. Nice defense. He got his hands up and blocked it. Powers upstairs with the right. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. It's just a really high kick. Jab lands there. Uh, Man off circling to his right. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Lee gets caught with that punch. Great take on defense right there by the champ. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? Oh, oh hip toss to get him down. Akhmedov's back to the side control now. Beautiful transition. Now he's going full mount. Oh, and he locks up a triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, beat the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Akhmeta. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, he got to his spot. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Akhmeta. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Lee's in half court. Making all these shots count. 
Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Akhmedov's back in half court. Two minutes to go in round one. There it is. Now he's going to mount. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. He's gotta start throwing now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Akhmedov. Not good body language from his opponent here at DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Lee getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. You need to work out of this position. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. And now he's got the back. Now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Akhmedov. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. And there's the elbow from the top by Akhmedov. Nice transition. for the end of round one. Hey, stop. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Akhmedov's bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All it. right, round two. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. to the head. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Akhmedov. Pretty fast jab. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Ooh, sidekick. Well timed there. on the elbow. Uppercut lands now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. Oh, right into Mount. He's setting up the arm bar. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense have done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts, even when they get him. He's taking 
crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. And these guys were going back and forth on the ground. And ultimately, he got back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Nice leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start taking kicks. Oh, nice counter. You can't place it or time it any better. Just over two minutes to go. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Come on. Right hook to the head block. Back to the jab now, no good. Different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seen in his final touch. I mean, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this fast as we have seen from this point in the fight. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Nice loop and punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He gets to the single collar tie. Look, man, look at why he moves his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Akhmedov's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Oh, nice. That guillotine is tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Final seconds here. Lee's in half guard now. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Ten minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive rest. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going ready, into the next round. You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Akhmedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh! Massive kick to the head. That's not the big head kick lands. He's not seeing those head kicks coming as his foot leaves the camp. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Akhmedov's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice jab. <laughs> nice 
nice left hand. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find his home. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss. Fly off now. Ahmedov's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side. He's really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Punches and punches. Punches and Slips the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. That shot is blocked by Akhmedov. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Takedown defense is there. Back to the clinch. Oh! Well, how about the judo toss there? It's not as easy as it looks, I can assure you. In the half guard. Another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss it, eh? and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Good work from the top here by Akmedov. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last bit before it gets given up. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Akmeda. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. But he's in half court. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, that's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, you're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. We are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at, we're still going. Ready to fight. Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Well, not only is he... Back to the feet now. 
He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Uh, uh, awesome separation from his clinch position. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can bend that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. Nice land. Great punch. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso, and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the... the oh! He's got him hurt here. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, this fight is pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You've doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Single collar tie now. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Nasty body kick downstairs. Once you can take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Oh, nice. We'll see if he tries to change levels here. Trips his opponent with the ankle pick. An ankle pick takedown. We're so used to seeing singles, doubles, high crotches. When an ankle pick is hit, you applaud the guy doing the technique. Unable to connect there. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Lands the sidekick now. Under a minute to go. Lee gets hit with that stiff jab there. Touched him with the strike there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. All right, relax for me, bud. Good, you're doing fine. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, 
the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big left hook coming, it's good. This is beautiful. He's got a single color. Whiffs on that offering. <laughs> oh man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Set the seven, Tim. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Akhmedov's cut on his nose, manageable. Oh, another one. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Striker counters beautifully with the left hand. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier. Really well. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Wow. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by Akhmeto. Under three minutes now to go round five. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Akhmedov's trying to make that eye swell shut, DC. Clearly, he has put a focus on targeting that area, which is already damaged on his opponent. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is some time for strategy. Akhmedov's uh, really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Oh, My nice God. punch there in the clinch. on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.